Hi. Today, I bought a tarantula. I cannot believe that. So, I got a Salmopius Polker. Polker? This is how you spell it. That's a scientific name, but the not scientific name for it is a Panama Blonde. And I would not recommend it for your first tarantula whatsoever. This is an arboreal spider. As for temperament, they are more moody and sassy, but you know, it's fine and they're really fast. So I'm gonna set it up in a little enclosure until it gets bigger for a few molts, and then I will put it into probably a tall Exoterra, Exoterra Nano, but the tall one. I do wanna say that I don't recommend just going out and buying a tarantula. I don't recommend going out and buying any animal. Don't do it because a lot of people get animals and then they're small and so cute or whatever and then they grow and you actually have to spend money on them and take care of them and people are shocked by that. I'm prepared to, I'm committed to it 100%. I'm going away tomorrow and I already have someone coming to give all my animals water including my spiders and drop some bugs in and do everything that needs to be done. So make sure you think about it before you get an animal. Yeah, let's get into it. We are back at my kitchen table. Here is the actual spider. It's still just a little one. Males can live up to three years, where I believe females live closer to 15, so it's quite the difference. So for the actual enclosure, just for now, while the spider is still so small, I'm actually just gonna do this 64 ounce tub. It has holes pre-punched in it and this is an arboreal species so this is not an ideal whole life enclosure especially I mean size wise it's not ideal um, for when they're bigger but also you want something that they can go up with with some cork bark or something but yeah for the substrate I'm gonna do pretty much what I do for like all of my enclosures uh, if you've seen my other videos um, for bugs, this is what I use. So there's that. And when I do put this spider into a big enclosure, I will definitely do it with a bioactive setup, but obviously just for this, I'm not gonna worry too much about that. Unfortunately, I don't have any cork bark or anything. I'm a little bit ill-prepared. I thought I had more stuff left over and I don't. So I am gonna have to get a little piece at some point, but for now, a leaf. So I'm gonna give this a good spray. And I have this little deli cup. It's actually a little bit bigger than I wanted it to be, but it's here, so. And this is gonna be our water dish, but this is a really small spider. So I'm not going to fill the cup up all that much, just because obviously I don't want the spider to drown. Okay, now we're at the part that I'm the most stressed about, which is transferring the spider, because this is a pretty fast spider. I've been warned that this species is really fast. This is a new world spider, I don't know if I mentioned that, but it felt worth mentioning. I have multiple catch cups ready if I need to catch the spider. It's right at the top, and I don't have a paintbrush right now, so I'm going to use the back of my tweezers. I'm sorry, I know. That was a bit frowned upon. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. Sorry, that was an obnoxious clip. Oh, I feel so bad to ruin its webbing and everything. I just don't want to take the whole lid off because it's web. I'm sorry. I guess the web is irrelevant anyway now. There you go. Okay.
Okay, so I put my head in the way because I'm stupid, but the tarantula is right on the side here, as you can see. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fill up the water bowl a little more because it got like dumped in the process. And I'm gonna drop in a few crickets. Hello. So we're gonna be very careful about that. And then I'm also just gonna put in a few little two week crickets. Uh, if you wanna see me put the crickets in for the spider, watch my feeding all my animal videos coming out soon. Thanks. So yeah, I know this was a super short and weird little video, but I just wanted to show what I got. And I am gonna put in pictures of what this spider will look like when it grows. It gets, I believe, six inches. Here's what it will look like. So, yeah. I'm gonna make a video, like right now I'm gonna film it, of feeding all my animals, so if you wanna see me give some crickets to that little spider. Not sure it will take it or not, it's probably pretty stressed out, but I'm gonna put some in there, so watch that video if you wanna see. And thank you for watching, and subscribe, and turn on the post notifications if you wanna be notified when I upload. You're the best, thank you.